vitamin C, niacinamide, retinol, or bakuchiol, which one is best for anti-aging? This is a question I get asked a lot, especially from those of you who are starting to notice early signs of aging, things like dullness, less firmness, or those first fine lines that appear after the age of 25. When it comes to anti-aging, there are four well-known ingredients that often come up. Vitamin C, niacinamide, retinol, and bakuchiol. But which one is the best? The truth is, there's no one-size-fits-all answer. Each ingredient has its own strengths, and the best one for you depends on your skin type, your current skin condition, and how sensitive your skin is. Let me break it down so you can decide which one works best for you. Vitamin C, brightening and powerful antioxidant. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant that helps neutralize free radicals, which accelerate skin aging, brighten uneven skin tone, support collagen production. It's a great choice for daytime use, especially if your skin looks dull or uneven. However, some people may experience stinging or irritation, especially at higher concentrations. It also oxidizes easily, so proper storage is important. And if you're using it during the day, sun protection is a must. Vitamin C is best for healthy, non-sensitive skin that needs brightening and early anti-aging support. Niacinamide, gentle, barrier-supporting, long-term results. Niacinamide is a versatile, well-tolerated ingredient. It helps with improving skin texture and elasticity, reducing redness and inflammation, minimizing pores and controlling oil, strengthening the skin barrier. It doesn't work as quickly as stronger ingredients like retinol, but it's safe to use both morning and night, and it combines well with other actives. Niacinamide is best for sensitive skin, oily skin, or those new to skincare who want a gentle way to start anti-aging care. Retinol, gold standard, but can be irritating. Retinol is considered the gold standard in anti-aging because it stimulates collagen production, reduces the appearance of wrinkles, speeds up cell turnover for smoother skin. But here's the catch. It's also the most likely to cause irritation, peeling, dryness, redness. These are all common during the first few weeks if you don't ease into it properly. That's why I always recommend starting with a low strength, applying it just two to three times per week and pairing it with a good moisturizer and sunscreen. Retinol is best for stronger, more resilient skin that's starting to show clear signs of aging like wrinkles or sagging. Bakuchiol, a gentle alternative to retinol. Bakuchiol is a plant-based ingredient often called the natural retinol alternative. It helps with collagen support, brightens skin, and can reduce the appearance of fine lines without the irritation. You can use Bakuchiol both morning and night. It's also safe during pregnancy and works well for those who have sensitive or reactive skin. The only downside is that it takes longer to see results, usually around 8 to 12 weeks of consistent use. Bakuchiol is best for sensitive skin, those who can't tolerate retinol, or anyone looking for a gentler option. So, which one should you choose? If you have healthy skin and want to brighten and prevent early signs of aging, go with vitamin C. If your skin is oily, sensitive, or in recovery, start with niacinamide. If you already have wrinkles, uneven texture, or sagging, try retinol, but introduce it gradually. If retinol is too harsh for your skin or you're pregnant, consider bakuchiol as a gentler alternative. Final thoughts. Choosing the right anti-aging ingredient isn't about picking the strongest one, it's about finding the one that suits your skin best. No matter which one you choose, consistency, hydration, and sun protection are key to seeing long-term results. If you're still unsure where to start, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to give you a personalized recommendation, and don't forget to follow for more dermatologist-backed skincare tips.